Hey, I've got some updates. Uh, first of all, in this video, um, we're putting on a, I'm putting on a uh, fancy little alternator bracket. I'm getting rid of that old air pump uh, emissions piece of crap. Um, I've been having, been having issues keeping tension on the belt. So I got a new kit. Hopefully we can, hopefully it'll work. Uh, so that's what we're going to do in this video, but I have some updates on the engulator here, the engulator, the engine, it's not like bicycle garage. Um, I've got some updates and I have possibly one issue we're going to have to, I'm going to have to figure out because my idle is a little difficult to set and it's a little weird. I have two vehicles with idling problems, my Subaru and then this one. But I think I have a vacuum leak somewhere. I don't know where just yet. Uh, I'm going to have to get the old brake clean and ch -ch 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 see if we don't have a maybe a intake manifold that's leaking. I'm not leaking any coolant, so I couldn't imagine it's horrifically misaligned or anything. That's what I was kind of thinking of. But we got to go sniffing around for vacuum leaks. Uh, because I hear something when I accelerate, especially when I really get into like half throttle, I hear what sounds like a vacuum leak coming from somewhere. So that is something we're gonna have to address. Um, and I gotta finish welding up my exhaust and whatnot. But I did make some changes. Let me get you on the handheld here and get to looking at this thing. I did put a new air cleaner in it. I put a taller one. It just barely fit, but it's a sphincter. Uh, one from AutoZone. Looking pretty good with the black and whatchamacallit. Uh, running a little bit better. Um, my air intake temperature is actually pretty decent. Um, you know, just about ambient temperature rolling down the road. It does get a little warm when you're sitting, of course. No, I don't know. It could even be my PCV valve leaking. I don't know. But yeah, it's been running pretty good with that. Um, I have put a 180 degree thermostat in this because the 190 that was in it is just getting too hot. Uh, I could not keep this thing cool at all. So I put a new one in, which I already had. And it's been running right around 180 degrees, maybe just a little too cool in the, in the morning. So now we're gonna have a problem keeping it warm. But it runs about 170 to 180 in the morning and then once you really keep driving it gets up to about 180 and heater works at that temperature so I'm fine with that. I did add this stuff here some uh, insulation around the radiator this helped tremendously allowing airflow to actually be forced to go through the AC condenser and the radiator because there were huge gaps all the way around this and now they're all taken up and um, so it's been running pretty good there and the AC's been working pretty nice um, other than you know needing to get a couple of new batteries right now I'm running on one stall from a truck that's not running at the farm um, I need to get a couple batteries for it and we need to get our Holly sniper distributor in and I gotta finish welding my exhaust which I I have not done yet and that has all been nice. I'm gonna give you guys a little cruise uh, with that. Um, yeah, I've been just driving this thing. It's been fantastic. Oh, and I gotta put a radio on it. But my air, air, air system's been working awesome. I've got full control of my airbags. I just picked up a new couch. So I was able to air it up and keep it from sagging. That's my that's my old one. That one's that one's catted out. So let me show you what I got. I've been. Uh, Spending some time and just going through my garage. I got this side kind of figured out. Well, that needs to go in the house. I gotta work on this. I probably won't get it to this week, but maybe next week. I got a 220 welder I need to get a stand for. My 110, I'm probably gonna get rid of, get rid of my, well, one of them needs to go back to my cousin Adam. That one, I probably won't even bother getting rid of it. I'll just keep it around. But I got a 220, we gotta get a plug for it so we can use it. I'm going to get a stand and a can of, uh, a uh, oxygen tank for it. Johnson's Garage channel content. Keep your eyes peeled for that. And I got to go through this table 
and get it cleared off. It's pretty bad. You know, a lot of it ends up being trash. That's what I found is everything in here was basically garbage. But I'm real happy with that. Um, the landlord's cool with it too because garage organizationals. I kind of did it without his permission, then he saw it, and he's like, oh, this looks nice. I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, don't worry, it's caught into the stud. I put more light up there. I'm going to get three more, and I'm going to put it over there, and maybe put some more there, so basically, this is going to not be a pigsty for five minutes. Uh, so here's what I got. This is for a 302, it's alternator bracket. I'm hoping this works because I want to properly mount my 3G. I don't even think that tightens up anymore. And this belt just, just can't hang. It's okay now, but if it's any looser than it is now, it just squeals like a mofo. I can't handle it. All right, I don't know how well you can see, but my GoPro is acting weird. Got the best SD card I can put in it, and it decides to screw up. Well, I'm not leaking anything from down here. I think I got a leak from my uh, lower radiator hose. I'm gonna tighten, tighten it down again. One spacer here. So, Longest bolt's probably going to go on top. Interesting. Does this fit? That fits in there. I'm not even sure if this bracket's going to fit. I ordered this for a 302. Oh, well, that bracket only fits a 65, not an 85. Pro comp. Does it even show it on the engine? No, it does not. I wonder if this bolts onto the water pump right here. Okay. Um, I think that's what's happening. So what we need to do is we need to loosen up our power steering pump. I think what happens is your alternator hangs right there. That threads in. In like that. Okay, no, I will use the uh, pulley on the back. I just had it too far back. So I need to get another little spacer here. I'll measure that out when I tighten this end down. And I think I got an extra V belt. V belt deal. Well, I got the spacer in. I need to put one more bolt in, but. Uh, this is going to work great. So this long bolt, which is a, use a 3 8 uh, Allen, uh, goes into the uh, one smog plug there. And this one is just a little dirty, so it's actually acting like Loctite. So that once you clamp it down, this pinch is pretty good now, which is what I needed. It's also super straight. I'm not being sarcastic, I'm being 100% uh, honest. So now I gotta figure out my uh, my little tensioner deal here. 308, I got a little bit of time left. I gotta get ready at about four for work. I gotta work tonight, unfortunately. So here's what's gonna happen. See how the bracket is pretty much flush with the back of that. No, it hasn't been shaved, but you can you can always rebend it. But anyways, it's flush with the back of that mounting boss. I'm wondering if we just take a piece of flat stock, drill a couple holes, cut it to length, 
maybe we can cut a piece of angle iron and we'll just bolt it here use this as our adjustment and we'll bolt it on the alternator and make kind of an extension I can't really use that rod in because there's, I have nowhere to attach it to unless they made something that comes off of that timing pointer but we're not going to do that well help me understand Hey, good news is our front main seal is not leaking. That's pretty neat. You get back on that nut. Why? Push everything down. Found it. Buried in my stash. Yep. We can swap that over. Run to a single pulley. This is a fresh one. It's never been used before. Maybe once? I don't know. Well, I got it all back together. I had to make some adjustments. Um, so let me show you. So first of all, uh, yeah, that top piece. Oh, I forgot my water pump bolt. Son of a biscuit. It's not going through a water jacket. Can I put it in later? Which is like, yeah, it's not even going through a water jacket. Damn it. I totally forgot about that. I was gonna put my bolt back in there. Yeah, I'll do it later. So I had to cut that one piece off. Now, between the lower bracket, which I had to custom make a little extension, and this fairly thick bolt going through here with these spacers, and then being anchored down here. I only have the slightest deflection if I really pull on it, enough to give me a hernia. So I think that's gonna be solid. That's solid, more solid than it was before. So, yeah, I think, you know, looking at this now, I probably could have just made my own kit. This wasn't super expensive. I think it was like 30 bucks, but I probably could have done it for cheaper. I mean, it's just some spacers, a bolt that fits in that plug, a new bolt and spacer down there. And <laughs> I probably could have just got a thick piece of steel and made a little bracket right there. But uh, it's pretty solid. I think if we ever take this back out, I'll probably come in and trim these off flush. I cut it this way because that's the only way I can get it in with the angle grinder. That, that'll cut you right open, um, so I'm going to be mindful of that. I might even put some something over, I don't know. And then, barely have an air gap between the belt and that piece, so we might have to grind that down. I'm gonna run it and drive it and see what happens. If I don't see the belt getting tossed up, then I'll call it a day. And then, from the alternator pulley all the way down, looks pretty damn straight. I've had a much worse, so I think that'll work just fine. Once I tighten that bolt up and got everything all crushed down, this pulled in just a little bit and uh, Kind of made that look nice now i still have the old bracket here but i think i'm gonna toss that um it's just kind of ugly even with this piece being cut it looks a lot better and you can actually see my paint job so yeah and i was able to reuse the same bolt um i just had to make a little extendo piece to push that alternator out <clears throat> so yeah i'm pretty happy with that i think uh i'm gonna fire it up and We'll look at the belts and we'll see what's what and then um, go for a drive. I gotta go look at a truck today. I'll, uh, I'll fill you in on that. I actually have a video that I've been working on with this truck. I just haven't posted it yet. So yeah, everything's all tight now. We got good tension on our belts. 
This has really good tension on it now, and when I push on the belt, it doesn't deflect the alternator, so I think that's gonna work, and I got a brand new pulley on that. That is a brand new one. I had it in my stock from another alternator, I think, that I put on this one here. Um, so that's from a GM alternator. I think they're really the same, basically, but that's on there now. The belt sits a little proud of the pulley, which is kind of what I wanted. Kind of like how the fan pulley is. I suppose we could run a smaller fan pulley and get away from that bracket, but I really don't want to change that. I don't want to order any more parts. Here's the old pulley, which I had Loctite it in and didn't want to come out. Uh, this is the factory one to this truck, and you, as you can see, it's pretty well grooved up. It's not super bad, but it's just not grabbing. Of course, that outer one was for the smog pump. We don't need that no more. This engine is the smog pump. Up inside my brand new Lariat, my Larry yacht. All right, door buzzer's gonna engage, so you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. <sighs> Do -do -do. Morgan! I haven't started in a while, so we let her prime. It didn't even squeak! <laughs> 